Hey, City Center Baptist Church family. It's Pastor Brad coming to you from DDQ headquarters. Digging deeper question number five this week asks, Mark's gospel clearly recorded the disciples' frequent misunderstanding of Jesus' miracles and teachings. How do their struggles encourage you to continue striving to understand and live as a disciple today? The disciples were ordinary people. There was nothing extraordinary about them, and they probably looked, sounded, and smelled like all their contemporaries living in the environs of Galilee in the first century. Before meeting Jesus, they had never witnessed anyone heal the blind, lame, deaf, and mute. They had never seen demons exercised or observed someone speak to storms and still them. They had not watched from front row seats as someone took a lunch and fed thousands. They had lived in the real world, and these kinds of miracles just didn't happen. Maybe in the distant prophetic past, as in the days of Moses or Elijah or Elisha, but that was a long, long time ago. And then they met Jesus, and everything changed. The ordinary disciples witnessed firsthand the extraordinary. We could be hard on them and think, why didn't they get it the first time? Couldn't they see that Jesus was different, that he was the Son of God? But this realization had to dawn on them, slowly but steadily, over their three and a half years following him. Nothing like this had ever happened before. These things hadn't been seen before. It was all so new, so amazing, so extraordinary, so mind-boggling. And so we see Jesus admonishing them for failing to perceive for misunderstanding what they were seeing, for having hard hearts, and then calling them, oh, you of little faith. But somehow I think Jesus said it with a smile on his face. It took a while for them to grasp the true identity of who they were following. And all of this demonstrates that the gospel accounts are a trustworthy record of the events surrounding Jesus' astonishing life. No one was expecting these things. Everyone would have been skeptical at first, or at least rubbing their eyes to check if they were seeing things. It took even his followers time to wrap their heads around Jesus as the Son of God and Lord over all. It didn't all come together for them until after Jesus' resurrection, and then their lives were never the same. And neither are ours. We too struggle in our perception and understanding of who Jesus truly is, that he is good, awesome, powerful, and that he can be fully trusted. When that realization finally sinks in, our ordinary lives become witnesses to the extraordinary, not because we're something special, but because Jesus is. This has been Pastor Brad coming to you from DDQ headquarters.